It is not news that at one point Marvel Studios was interested in a Incredible Hulk 2. But of course, to get that made, they would have to work with Universal, and Universal did not want to share the love with the Hulk and of course the production with Marvel Studios, so they sat on the rights. Now the director of The Incredible Hulk, Louis Leterrier, talks about the cancelled plans for the sequel. So the story of The Incredible Hulk is as followed. The Hulk, directed by Ang Lee, failed in box office, but Universal wanted to continue the franchise. They ran out of time. Marvel Studios came to them and said, okay, you can keep the character rights, but we put this in the MCU. Universal agreed, but upon this agreement, they realized that every single entry in the future would contribute to Disney and Marvel Studios and not to them. Therefore, they did not want to make sequels despite Marvel wanting them to, so Marvel then just used the Hulk and other projects because they could. So naturally, there was a ton of plans that were put on hold. Speaking with comic book, Louis Leterrier talked a little bit about this. He said that there was major plans that they were working on that Marvel Studios was involved with at this time. They planned to do something with the Grey Hulk. They were also planning for Red Hulks. So, multiple Red Hulks by the sound of it. My guess is Thunderbolt Ross and Red She-Hulk. And if you guys remember at the time, right after The Incredible Hulk came out, Red She-Hulk became a thing in the comics, as well as the Red Hulk, and they were pretty hot, selling a lot of issues, so it makes sense that Marvel Studios would have wanted that parody. He also revealed that he was contracted by them to do Incredible Hulk 2 and 3, back to back so it sounds like that there was legitimately going to be like maybe a two to three year gap and they were going to be producing these essentially like captain america sequels like thor sequels and like iron man sequels at the time where you knew that you could expect one within three years he also confirmed that there was plans for doc samson to return and that that was also going to be explored and definitely picking up the pieces of what happens with the leader going forward and that this was obviously going to factor into everything that they were building the story of the hulk towards at this time in the interview he also says that whether or not edward norton returned he really didn't care he still would have done it and obviously he references the whole casting of mark ruffalo which originally was the number one choice for universal but marvel studios wanted a more prestige actor edward norton but edward norton ended up um not wanting to do any promotional work or anything like that with the film, and he was a control freak, so they went back to Mark Ruffalo, we know that now. So this all kind of uh, paints an interesting picture of the direction that they were going in, and also what they were working on. And he also reveals that the idea for the leader was to go in a completely different and terrific direction that would have been completely different and cerebral. But again, he's not going to talk more about that, as he doesn't know what the plans for the leader are, so there we go. So people of this channel, as far back as since it started, know that I love The Incredible Hulk. It's always been a film I hold in high regards. I think it was criminally underrated. In the last couple years, we've seen a growing appreciation for it, but a lot of that stems from we don't like She-Hulk or we hate that there's more women and Hulk is one of them. So, no. Push that aside. I completely don't agree with that whole notion, but again... As somebody who always wanted to see more Incredible Hulk, I'm a little bummed that we're not going to ever see this play out, but The Incredible Hulk was a financial failure. Like, it's Marvel Studios' biggest failure of all time when it comes to box office and how much was spent as opposed to how much they made. So it makes sense that we never got sequels, but at least we're going to get most of these things in the upcoming Brave New World and what sounds like the upcoming World War Hulk film.